Darjeeling, a small town in India located at the foothills of the Himalayas. It is well known for its green lushes of tea gardens and for its huge influx of tourism from all over the world. Likewise, in 2007, few volunteers from London came to teach at one of the municipality schools in Darjeeling. What they experienced was a contradiction to a comfortable life, a life of hardship and pain. The Kripasarin hostel in which the children lived suffered from damp entrance due to poor waterproofing solution. Their bedroom was nothing more than a crawled space above the dining hall. It was extremely contagious and there was no space for the sunlight to seep in. Irrespective of these hardships, the volunteers resonated with the happiness of these children. Sharon Patel, one of the co-founders of Darjeeling Children Trust, mentions. In the afternoons, we would go to the girls' home, uh, which is the Kripasaran Buddhist Mission. And initially, we didn't really know what to do. This was as a volunteer in 2007. The children really wanted um, to play with us, sing with us, um, and we, they wanted to have fun with us for an hour. So every day we tried to bring joy to them. We would sing and the girls would just teach us things and we just had a lot of fun. The hearts of the volunteers were touched by these children. They would return to their pleasant life in London, but time and again think about the children of Darjeeling. As it quotes, little drops of water makes a mighty ocean. On February 15, 2008, a group of people in London came together and formed the Darjeeling Children Trust. After stationing several objectives, the paramount intent was to help the underprivileged children of Darjeeling. This meeting of the like-minded people embarked a beginning of a new dawn and sparked a light in the hearts of these children. Life lived for others is the only life worth living. Since the seed was planted in 2007 to help the children of Darjeeling, Marilyn Adams has been instrumental in leading the team. She has been a great leader, the rock that holds the trust. While in Darjeeling, she makes sure that the children, the schools and institutes which has been supported by Darjeeling Children Trust are well guided and sustained by her team. As the chairperson of Darjeeling Children Trust, Marilyn's contribution towards the children of Darjeeling is immense and it is regarded as one of the purest forms of service offered to the society. Her work has set a footprint in the hearts of many children and well-wishers. Today, they reflect back in their own words of gratitude towards Marilyn. Lazmith, Aishma and many others are the first generation in the family to get an education in a school. They come from rural areas with harsh living condition. Today, they have a new roof and a home to live in. The construction of the new Kripasarin hostel for both the boys and the girls is one of the major projects of the Darjeeling Children Trust, which was supervised by one of the leading architects and interior designer of Shashis Prashad Studio, Darjeeling. I'm Ranjita, interior designer. I'm Ramesh Rasali, uh, civil engineer. And we both are working with the firm for almost 15, 16 years. Uh, Marilyn, like she feels very genuinely for all the children. She she looks into detail like how everybody should be taken care and uh, how they can be more comfortable and uh, not only as as home but with the education and even uh, to build up uh, a career from all the the orphan children. No? So so that everybody is independent and they could look after themselves. Marilyn uh, has been. Uh, 
like uh, constantly in touch with us like uh, how to go about things and how to make it more better for them no so she has been working like very very hard uh, sitting so far and uh, she's trying all her ways to uh, get the funds raised so they have lot of events they do cycling they uh, they have like parties and and they they get around all the friends to come and contribute and they've been influencing different people also to be part of this project so that we could finish uh, this project no so it's uh, like for a person it needs a lot of love and a lot of uh, thing from the heart to uh, get this done On 17th November 2019, the boys and girls at Kripasuran Hostel celebrated the opening ceremony of the new home. In front of the trustees of the Ajilin Children Trust, the children performed cultural dance and various other activities were showcased highlighting the talents of the young students. The children were extremely happy to live in a spacious environment and the hostel now offers proper facilities for the children. Bhante Pema, who runs the hostel, says, "Our two-year mission ka jinja na niya sa unang day. Like the bar, our jaga pa yung sa na na building jinja na section ka. Ra yes ko jinja niyaman ka sa jinja complete ba? Yes ko siya sa pura puri isa ka ano? Dadu chair ka sa chairman, madam madam na jan sa mota ba jo madam madam is really a lady with the golden heart." वहाँ ने जिनसे कोई पसंद बुद्धि समाती जिन प्रकार का रक्षण देखा ना नहीं को सुख सुविधा सुविधा करनी थी तो एकदम ही सरानी आ जा तो वो मेरे बरकत सुनने वाले को चाव माला है कि वाले अब दाजिंग चिल्ड्रन ट्रस्ट को चेयरमैन सी बड़ा वाले रिटायर्ड लीन होने चाह यदि भी वहाँ दाजिंग चिल्ड्रन ट्रस्ट के � जहाँ जवसम वहाँ ट्रस्टी होता है वहाँ आज ये खाले काम करते हम यही आशा करूँ दाजू चिल्ड्रेन ट्रस्ट आज फलोस् फुलोस् अच्छे धीरे धीरे काम करोस् The trust is also helping a number of young people acquire vocational skills. Young adults have been supported by the trust to undertake the government-approved hotel management course at Darjeeling's Food and Craft Institute. All the students come from poor families. It is heartening to see them win good employment in hotels in Darjeeling, elsewhere in India, or even further afield. Hello, good morning. I, I am Musuba, and my friends would like to kindly thank you, Ma'am Merlin Adam, for your contribution. Because of you, we are able to handle our family and become a successful person in life. Thank you so much for your contributions. The parents of the children that Darjeeling Children Trust sponsors are often porters or housemaids with little education. Through a long-term sponsorship by the trust, the children escape a future of this back-breaking work and instead have the chance of a fulfilling career and the ability to lift themselves and the rest of the families out of poverty. The children are grateful towards the trust and has the following message. मेरे नाम से सुकृति राय हो मुसादा सॉरी स्कूल में पढ़ चुकी और न्यू मोमेंट में डम लाइट आने बाद दिनों चांस चुकी ना बने माथी को हॉस्टल बंद है यहाँ देरे अब कंफर्टेबल सा माथी को जस्ट थाई ना यहाँ देरे खुशी लाख सा मुझे अब बस एको तीन बार अब बायो रा पनी अब माला देरे खुशी लाख से यहाँ इस � and I'm very happy to see this hostel because uh, this hostel has a very big environment that uh, that the sister work here. They got the chance to play when uh, when we study in uh, when we stay in the old orphanage. There is so close a place we can't play, we can't uh, get the sunlight, we can't get the fresh air. Because I've seen here, I'm very happy that they get they got the chance of here to stay. Um. I've been sponsored since I was in class 9 and I've been sponsored since I was in class 4 and the TCT are really helping us in our, our in, in building our career and I, I would like to thank Miss Marlene for doing everything for us. Uh, Miss Marlene has uh, always uh, 
given me the sentence through which uh, I have uh, always moved forward and make a right choice. Uh, Miss Marilyn uh, always told us the right thing to do whenever we were in the harsh situation. Like I used to tell her that I was in this case and I have to do this, that, that. He, she always told me what do you need and what can I help you even if you need a tuition, even if you need uh, money, uh, like everything was uh, given to me by her. So I'm very thankful uh, to Miss Marilyn for giving us the opportunity to be what we are right now and for being humble to us. The contribution of Darjeeling Children Trust towards the children of Darjeeling is one of the most successful stories to admire and adulate. It is because of the people who reaches out to help a hand in need, the world turns out to be a better place. Marilyn Adams has sparked a light in the hearts of many children. She continues to help even more and has set an example for many trustees and well wishes to keep up her spirit. Adams is indeed a lady with a golden heart.